Hello everybody and welcome to part two in this Gmod uh, Gmod Do It Store series. Now in this video again we're not gonna be learning too much, but what we will be doing is we will be showing you how to basically run a script inside of Gary's mod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I will open up Sublime. I'm gonna go to file, new file, just like uh, normal. Remember, based on whichever text editor you're using, this may be different, but normally it's the same for all. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Control S to save. I'm then gonna go over to uh, where Gary's mod is installed, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Gary's mod. Then go into Gary's mod again, and then go ahead and go into Lua, sorry. And then here is where you're gonna wanna save it. So for example, I'm just gonna save this as test.lua. Now remember, it's gotta be a Lua file. So if we go ahead and save that now, um, you can get the Gmod Lua Alexa. Uh, which is done by FJPG. I can't remember his name. Um, there will be a link in the description to that. That's if you're using Sublime, but I know there is also one for Atom and Notepad++. So if you're using either one of those, it will also work. Now, in here, we're going to write our script. Our script is going to be very simple. It's just going to simply be print hello world, just like that. Now, you'll notice how we don't have the io.read on here, um, which we did in my Lua tutorial series. And that's because Gary's mod is, is running this as the environment, meaning that if our script gets to the end of the code, Gary's mod is still going to be running, so it doesn't close. So io.read is not needed anymore. Just simply print hello world. So let's then go into our Gmod. We'll then start up a single player game. And once we're in the game, there we go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go into our console and we'll type lua underscore open, open script underscore cl. And then you simply start typing the name of your script. In this case, ours was test.lua. We do that and we hit enter. And as you can see, it says it's running the script and then it says hello world. So the first thing you'll notice is that this is now our console. Whereas before we had the, the terminal on Windows, this is now our console. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that. We can also do lua underscore open script. Uh, and instead of doing underscore CL, we just simply type open script and type test. And as you can see, it did the exact same, except this time our text was in blue. And if you remember our client and server uh, tutorial, I said the orange was uh, client and blue was the server. Um, so when we run it on our client, you'll notice how the text is orange. And when we run it on, our, on the server, our text is blue. And as I've already stated in that video, there is a client and server. Even though I'm on single player, there is basically a server with one slot for you to join that is not hosted on the internet, but on your local game. So again, there is still a client and a server. Now, I hope that really makes sense to you. Again, I know this is another short video, but the idea of this video is just to give you an explanation on how we can go ahead and, and write and execute scripts. Now, one thing to note is that for now, we're going to be doing all of our work inside of that Lua folder that I told you to save in. Now, once we obviously get a bit further on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to convert those into add-ons rather than having to place them into the Lua folder. But yeah, I hope you learned something. And again, I do apologize for it being such a short video. These are just designed to give you the introductory of, of what we need to get started. So again, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.